It's the world's greatest machine. One of its most fascinating mysteries. The human body. And now playing at the Museum of Science in Boston, superhuman body world of medical marvels, offering a glimpse into the incredible research being done to improve lives all over the world. We're talking about the latest medical breakthroughs and innovations, some happening right here in Boston. Fascinating stuff yeah. there. And of course, you, you heard the voice, Matthew McConaughey. We're joined now by one of the featured personalities, Dr. Hugh Herr. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Um, this is quite a big project, yeah. this Netflix special that's showing uh, on the big screen. How did you get involved? Uh, Bob Langer, he's, Bob Langer's a very famous professor at MIT and yeah. a friend of mine. He reached out to me and said, there's this incredible film being made. Do you want to be a part of it? No kidding. So I said, absolutely. And just like that, you got pulled in. That's right. Uh, fascinating stuff. You're a climber, so developing bionics, this is something that's deeply personal to you. Tell Absolutely. us why. You can see my legs. Uh, yeah. yeah, I lost my legs at mountain climbing in 1982. I was 17 years old, giving away my age here. <laughs> <laughs> so after the accident, I suffered frostbite. My medical team gave up the fight to see my biological legs, and my, they were amputated. Mm. So I had to learn how to walk again with artificial limbs. And what I discovered at the time is they were very crude, they weren't computer controlled, no sensing, no intelligence whatsoever. So I really set out as a mission in my life to improve prosthetic care for everyone. How, uh, how much do you think the, the bell curve of technology intersecting with prosthetics, where are we at in that right now? It's, it's an exciting time. Yeah, there's I can a, imagine. There's emergence of, you can imagine robotics, AI, tissue engineering, genetics. It's all coalescing. Yeah. Um, and what we're putting forth now is even Hollywood would label as true bionics. No kidding. Wow. Uh, and of course, you work at MIT as a professor there, and you're working with uh, uh, this emerging field of bio biomechatronics. Biomechatronics. <laughs> is that correct? That's correct. Biomechatronics for the layperson at home. Yeah, it's um, as, as the word suggests, it's the fusing integration of human biology with, with computers and sensors and parts, mechatronics. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that fusing, um, the mission is to rehabilitate uh, or to extend human capability beyond innate physiological levels. Mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges or problems that you think still need to be addressed in this field? Yeah, uh, one mission of the field is connect to connect the brain to mechatronics. Mm. So robots, my legs are robots, and I want to be able to think and affect the motors. And I also want to feel the robots. When I touch the robot, I want it to feel like I'm touching my, my hand. Yeah. So that na those natural sensations. So we want to close the loop, make it bi-directional with the brain. Oh, that would be incredible. And then they'll be, be part of me. When you ask me what is in my body, I'll include the robotic prostheses. Obviously, we can see what the benefit could be and imagine what the benefit could be. Are there technophobes out there saying we're crossing a line uh, between <laughs> sure. human beings, sure. what it means to be human? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're actually studying what's called embodiment. Uh, so, again, we want to we want to rebuild bodies. We don't yeah. just want to rebuild, you know, introduce more and more powerful devices. Yeah. So that 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 involves this fusing of human physiology with electromechanics, which makes some people a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Dr. Hugh Her, thank you so much for having this conversation Pleasure. with us today. Yeah. And of course, you can watch Superhuman Body at the Museum of Science.